Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm at the home headquarters, sitting here with Baby Owl, not doing much anything today except being a stay-at-home dad, which I mean is everything, right? So I was uh, I was listening to a, a podcast today, and I. And I was reflecting on, you know, like if you were paying attention about a week and a half ago, I kind of like kicked someone off this channel. And and it was only because they were trying to dictate my content, right? And what I was talking about was the 5G electromagnetic grid they're going to encircle Spaceship Earth with so that we have better Wi-Fi connectivity. They call it the Internet of Things because they're going to, you know, hook everything up to the Internet. And whatever, this guy's like, dude, you're crazy. That's fear. And I go, no, nah, it's not fear. It's, it's, it's really important. And why it is, is it's really everything I've been talking about is our space suit is basically a bio electrical chemical machine, right? It's all based upon electricity and minerals and minerals in our body conducting that electricity. I'm not going to say that I, I'm a full, I get the concept. So basically our whole spacesuit runs off of electricity uh, and we're made, basically made of, of waters and salts and minerals that conduct this electricity. And everything we experience is electromagnetic energy through the five senses, right? And so I was listening to a podcast the other day and it was talking about how ki how it's been proven that screens and iPhones and TVs and, and computers to young minds basically are triggering the same part of the mind that cocaine does. It's activating the dopamine and it's it's getting people high and, and young young minds are getting rewired to this screen we're watching and that it's basically making them addicted to this electromagnetic energy and that so the interesting thing is it takes about four to six weeks to detox off of this these screens that we watch and, I, and at the same time, they were talking about how it's been shown that the uh, smart meters in the houses and, and are affecting the, the heart rate, like uh, of, of how our heart beats. And that if you know what the Schulman frequency is, that's the natural pulse rate of spaceship Earth. So everything is tied together in electromagnetic energy of one form or another. And to be aware of this is power, not fear. And that's why I booted this dude off the thing or asked him to leave was because because these are the open discussions we have to have to figure out what is going on so that we can achieve a deeper and better consciousness with ourselves, with our surroundings, with our fellow passengers on Spaceship Earth and Spaceship Earth as a whole. And what's going on from everything I can tell is that they're trying to rewire our minds so that they can rewire our electromagnetic aura of our space suit to turn us into slaves. And I go, I don't know, man. Yeah, I get it, dude. Trying to wake up and face the reality that there's some diabolical stuff going on can be sort of scary, but nothing scarier than 
than being caught in this thing and not being able to vibrate at the right frequency. And I and I've been I've been experiencing again like because I have I owls never been around the TV, never watch TV. We don't let them have iPhones or iDevices. And the minigram has been raised with television until we all live together. And I said, you know, I took the televisions. I wouldn't allow the televisions into the house. And yet she goes over to her dad's house and there's like a TV on all the time, right? So she's like, I see the struggle she has with her own state of consciousness because the the electromagnetic energy coming in from the televisions and the, the smartphones and whatever is interfering with her ability to make connectivity to pure consciousness. Now, you could argue or that, that there is no blockage. The blockage is just perception. And I would, I would full-heartedly agree, right? Because you are pure consciousness. Like that is the one truth is, is I am pure consciousness. All I have to do is realize it. All you have to do is realize it yourself. But that gap between realizing it and, and being it is where, where all this electromagnetic interference is making us in the slaves because if you can't, all you need is a sliver of consciousness to realize the bigger picture. And yet, all around us, people are choosing to go back to sleep, which is almost should be another video in itself, right? Like, that's why we've been bombarded with, with this malstorm of politics, right? Because they're trying to get us in a state of fear, but that fear is piggybacking on an electromagnetic signal. Like if you don't turn on the television, does Donald Trump truly exist? I don't know. Because I generally... Like when I was out camping last weekend with the Mini Graham, there was no drama going on you get what there was no wars there was no it may be occurring see that's where the like this metaphysical debate gets very interesting and again i i always talk about the aborigine in the outback of australia so there's an aborigine in the outback of australia right he's got ten thousand years of of genetic wiring to be able to walk through the, the desert outback of Australia and survive. Dude, they, they talk about the song lines and that they follow the song lines. So the, the aborigines are dialed into the electromagnetic frequency of spaceship Earth. And, and they have the ability to, to manifest and live in a symbiotic relationship with the desert. So if the uh, aborigines walking, doing walkabout in the outback and he's following a song line and he needs water, well, he'll, he'll find water under a rock. Or if he needs food, he'll find a grub or he'll know what plant to eat. Everything will show up as it's supposed to show up. But the, the interesting thing is now if there's an aborigine walking through the outback of Australia with 10,000 years of genetic wiring and he's not, has never been around a television, basically free of the trappings of modern society. Is there a, does Russia exist? Does Syria exist? Does Donald Trump exist? Do, do starving African children exist? Does, does the space station exist? Does Mars exist? Well, that's, he's looking at the sky. So that, he might not be called Mars. But what I'm getting at is, is, participation in the electromagnetic signal being broadcasted to us is required for it to work. So this aborigine out walking in the outbacks, free of that, and he's just in pure harmonic harmony and existence with spaceship Earth. Now you can get all sorts of debates about that. But the point I'm getting at is, is the things that 
plague our modern life probably don't plague that aboriginal's life walking through the outback. Well, isn't that why they, you know, as a person who studies why they exterminated the original people of North America and the original people all over the planet, isn't that why? Because they were in contact with the consciousness and the greater electromagnetic grid and they could make things happen that that we as people have been told can't happen so that's why i kicked this dude off the thing is because part of my channel is the true belief that that we can expand our reality and make everything happen that we would want to have happen we just got to be careful about what we want to have happen you see because most of us are untrained minds and we're almost dangerous because we're so caught up in low frequency energy, i.e. war, famine, petrol, dollars, wow. you know, the, the whole driving cars, the whole thing. We've forgotten that we have the ability to vibrate right wow. past it. Reality can't be destroyed unless we allow it wow. to be destroyed by our own participation in the destruction. And, and that's really what, wow. what like this information we're wow. trying to receive is, is wow. that Gosh. we're fully participating in it. There is no unparticipating wow. in this wow. life, but it's all about how we're going about it. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, wow. again, isn't that why they want to flood us with electromagnetic energy? Is, is to turn us into basically batteries, right? Because they need us. Because this reality can't exist Ooh. without all of us participating uh. in it. That's what, what I've ultimately come to the realization is like, <laughs> why they haven't nuked us or wiped us off the planet with plague. Don't hit the red button yet. No, not yet. We're almost there. So why they haven't wiped us out is they need us to exist. They need our consciousness but they got, they're trying to control the consciousness because they don't want us to realize we don't need them. That they can only exist if we allow them to exist because they're electromagnetic spacesuits too. Their, their consciousness or lack thereof consciousness. But the only way they can, they can get their hate machine to work is if we allow it to work. It's sort of an abstract concept, but the more I tune out, that's why I'm like, kill your television. Like, stop watching television. Even this medium slightly sketchy, but look, we can pick this, right? We have the ability to choose more so of the signal we're receiving. So what I'm getting at is, yeah, it's super important to be aware of our spacesuit and the and the and the stuff that we're putting into the spacesuit and what it's doing to our participation in the electromagnetic energy all around us and that if we changed our perception and we stopped participating in their electromagnetic grid their electromagnetic grid couldn't exist therefore all their war and nonsense would stop which is why our state of reality is exactly perfect because it's sink or swim time for humanity. Either we're buying into the nonsense and we're going to keep it vibrating on this lower fear material based level, or we're going to look at it, realize what it is and vibrate past it. But we can't vibrate past it till we realize what we got to vibrate past. And that's not saying the Aborigine guy he doesn't need to realize it he's already in it you get what i'm saying we're the ones on the outside not knowing that we're in it because we've been conditioned to believe we're separate from it but we've never been separate we've always been pure consciousness that's the rub that's the trippy part about it is all you gotta do is wake up and decide Oh, I am consciousness. And then now what? Now the real work begins. Now the choices are made. What 
is the consciousness you choose to participate on. Their slow, small box grid of consciousness or the ever-expanding consciousness of God. I don't know, man. It's gnarly what I got going on in my head. I, I, it's really hard to communicate it, but I see it clearly. Like, I see it clearly today. Again, it's all about just breathing. Anyway, we're on this journey. We can turn this ship around. Because there's no ship to turn around. Mm. That's why Spaceship Earth is a globe. Anyway, this is the illusion, man. I got, I got to actually like relax on what I'm thinking because it's, it's so powerful it could probably give me a brain aneurysm right now. The data I am receiving. I am receiving a bunch of data right now. I'll, I'll be in touch more. Anyway, it's the illusion. Let's keep the frequency high. Let's expand our minds. Let's not be afraid of information. There's no such thing as fear. Fear is a choice. There's only love. That's it.